Okay, I just have a quick video today, and I just basically want to talk of a few things that I'm going to focus on in the next year. I'm not doing a goals video because that's not for me, and I just don't want to be stuck with a bunch of goals that I did not complete. But the reason why I have these Olympic rings here is because I have been putting together an Olympic set since 2014. Absolutely ridiculous. So I hope to plan to finish that Olympic set with TTMs and whatever. I want to get as close as I possibly can for that. But the prices are just not right for some of those old forgotten about cards. They're just not right right now. So i got to wait for a seller to you know have a lot or something that sells fairly cheaply. Because all those parallels are just getting ridiculously expensive. At a, even at a dollar piece, but I have to go to this vendor and this vendor and this vendor and this vendor and they end up costing triple and then I'm um, doing my happy days set so I'm going to be working on Olympics and happy days and if people don't like that well they'll just have to find another channel for a while and watch some baseball content I'm not doing any Fairfield boxes I'm not going to the LCS's for any of these random cards I'm not doing any of that kind of stuff so I need to stay focused I'm working on my postcard project as well and get that done and postage is going up yet again and I just bought some postage but never enough I probably need about a thousand dollars worth of postage to do everything I want to this year but I'm not gonna go to eBay and buy a thousand dollars of postage right now it would save me initially a bunch of money but I'd be out a thousand dollars right now and then I have stamps floating around this entire room here and I'd be losing my mind on thousands of dollars worth of stamps so, but it, but again, what it boils down to is two things. Happy Days Project, Olympic Project, 2014, 2021, or whatever the year it is. I don't know. It's 20, 2020 to 21, and I get all kinds of cool deals on some of these sites. Um, but again, I will not buy these cards if they're not right. I have so many TTMs for that particular set that just have one card. I can either choose to send out that one random silver parallel card, or wait until I find the base of silver and the bronze and send those three out and that sort of thing but again that's gonna cost me a lot of money to do so if I buy them one at a time on eBay I have the complete Olympic base card set for 2014 except for like a few that have gone out for TTM and that's the other thing I wanted to cut back on TTM and but but increase it at the same time but I've noticed a lot of people are taking their awfully sweet time returning things or just not at all because a lot of people are still worried about this health um, situation that's going around the entire nation I can understand that if they don't want to send my cards back because of some sort of health concern I understand that it's perfectly understandable but with the postage going up and everything else going on these days it's just absolutely just mind-boggling how much money you can end up spending on stuff you know when I could be spending it on food or some other you know things that I can do locally I bought some VCR tapes today and guess what I paid with a Susan B Anthony dollar that I ended up with and change at the coin show. What am I going to do with the season B. Anthony coin? Am I going to look at it? It's not silver. So I said, you know what? These guys are giving me a fair price. I'm going to give them that and they can throw it in their collector's case for two bucks. So that is all I have for you today. Three items, postcards, happy days, and Olympic sets. And thank you for watching. Here we go. You dip, Daniel? You dipped? Why are you a dip?